But uh, this is where it all starts. I have to pick these or wait for them to drop on the ground and uh, pit them and juice them. That's what it looks like. Where it all starts right here. Here's my plums. I'm going to make some wine out of them in a couple weeks. It's a little bit windy today. Hopefully you can see them. All the way up there. Got about 10 or 12 trees. Today's uh, September 25th, 2016. For the last two days it's been storming, raining and blowing and stuff like that. And here's all the plums, not all of them, but quite a few plums on the on the ground. So I gotta come out here and pick these up and make some wine out of them. But they're everywhere. I don't know if I can pick up every one of them, probably about 150 pounds. Some of them are run though. This is the plums that I picked up off the ground this morning. I probably haven't even picked up a tenth of what's out there. And um, I'm going to let these soak for an hour or so, get rid of uh, the mud and the grass and different things like that. But uh, that's what I got to do is clean it up and let it soak for a while. But here's a sink full of uh, plums. I'm going to let them soak for a couple hours, clean them off, pit them, and get ready to juice them. I don't know if you can see that with a clear out from the window. But there's a whole sink full of plums right there. This is what it looks like to pit these. It doesn't take very long. Let them soak for a while, get them cleaned up. At least pit it in probably, I don't know, 10 15 minutes. And um, have them ready to juice. I'm backwards for some reason. <laughs> Some of them are a little bit green. Make sure I get the seeds out because if I don't, as soon as it hits that juicer, it's going to shred it up pretty good. You don't want seeds in your wine. This is the first harvest of my plums. It's uh, September 15th. We don't start picking them until after the 1st of October, but last night it rained and a storm came through. Put a lot of them on the ground, so instead of wasting them, I'm going to make wine out of them. Here's some of the bags of plums. Today's um, November 12th, just after Election Day, a few days. Donald Trump's president now. Some people are upset, but it doesn't matter to me. But I'm taking the plums that I've already pitted, and I'm going to juice them today. And I'll show you how to do that. They were frozen, and I put them in this five-gallon bucket and let them thaw out. 
They've been sitting here for about a day, day and a half. I'm going to juice these and then um, after I juice them, I'm going to either make fruit roll ups or some sort of syrup for pancakes and different things like that. It's pretty easy. Put a little bit of that in there. Squeeze as much juice as possible out. A bag just full of juice. There we go. But everything's sticky. Hopefully, I don't get the camera too sticky. Here's my juicer. I'm not for sure what kind it is. Big mouth juicer. It's um, Best Buy or something. It's really good. I bought uh, Jack Jalane, uh, Jack Lalane's juicer, and um, I ruined two of them really fast. Shut it off and then I just pour it in this uh, pickle jar, elastic pickle jar. So I'm probably going to get about, I'd say about two, two and a half gallons of uh, juice. Well that's what I got out of that bag. We got about a half a gallon right there. And I got another bag going. And this is what's the juice that was left in from the two bags that I had that um, was frozen. It leaked out into this five gallon bucket. So I got to do that again. But it only took about five minutes to 
to juice a half a gallon, so it's pretty fast, but uh, made a little bit of a mess. Sometimes things get quite sticky. This is what I have left over right here. I'm going to make fruit roll-ups with this. Sometimes you can run it through the juicer a couple times and get stuff like puri or whatever it's called for pancakes and put it in oatmeal and different stuff like that, but I'm just going to make some roll-ups. I didn't get as much juice as I thought I would. I got maybe a gallon, gallon and a half. But I have some other juice I'm going to put with it. Some berry. And, uh, and some the same stuff. Passion fruit. This is the ingredients you use. Uh, yeast nutrients. Put about a teaspoon in there. Three of these tablets. And about uh, a teaspoon of the citric acid. One thing of yeast. And a teaspoon of that petric enzyme plus about five to six pounds of sugar and you should have your, your wine. Get it all stirred up. Get it all stirred up, get all the ingredients. You have it about the last line for expansion and then you put the lid on it with an airlock and tighten it down. About every two days you uh, open it and stir it, and it should be good. This has been about four days since they mixed this stuff up. This will be the first stirring. Mix all the sugar and yeast and stuff like that up. All the chemicals. Yeah. Ingredients. They're ingredients, not chemicals, I guess. Gonna do that again another in another week. Not another week, but another couple days. And then I'll rack it for the first time. I'm going to take the siphon and hose. Put it inside there.
So that's what it looks like. This is the um, wine coolers. It takes about five, ten minutes to fill that up. You can see that. This is what the finished product looks like. I do this with one hand. So you get it in the sun. But uh, that's what ghetto wine looks like, plum wine. It's not too bad. It's probably got about, I'm thinking, 8 or 9% alcohol. Cheers. Not only will I have five gallons of wine, I'll have six trays of uh, fruit roll-ups. And within 24 hours, these will be we're ready. The wine won't be ready for about another six months. It's going to rack it. First time in the first week once and then uh, you wait two more weeks rack it again and then one month after that for six months so you're going to rack it about six or seven times but I'll show you what these fruit roll ups look like tomorrow we'll be done within uh, in a day easy this is what my fruit roll ups look like I got about six layers of them so uh, there you go that right there probably last me a week week and a half Take a little bit for lunch every day. It didn't come off that easy. It was pretty hard to get off. So what I did is I stuck it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and, and pulled right off. Yeah, here's my fruit roll-ups. I thought I had six, but I only got five uh, layers. But this one here is pretty thick. But I'm going to roll them up and cut them and put them in uh, snack bags. Put them in my freezer. But this is what you can do with the uh, plums too. This is what the fruit roll-ups look like. I got two packages in each one. They're good for taking to lunch, uh, camping, snacks, or just putting in a survival pack or something like that. So that's what the fruit roll-ups look like. You can do this with any kind of fruit.